What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ray Bands and I am back with another video. This video should be very quick. I want to show you what it looks like when you successfully pull a withdrawal off of pocket options. I know a lot of people think that they might have trouble with their withdrawal or maybe you're trading on the platform and you're not too confident if this broker actually pays out. So I want to show you a substantial withdrawal so you can just have that fear taken away so you can trade confidently. And when you go in to request your withdrawal, you won't be, you know, scared because I don't know, just the fear of not getting your money and you putting in time. I totally get it. So look, this right here is the front of my broker. I'm going to go right here. I already have the pages pulled up just because I don't want to show my personal information. But this is the history of the withdrawals on my account. I wanted to make a fifty thousand dollar withdrawal at first. And I decided to take it up to 55 just because of why not. But I want you to look at the first two reasons why I was denied. All right. Decline by address. Right. When you get ready to make your withdrawal, they're going to ask you for your physical address where you stay. That's the first thing they're going to do. So they're going to deny it and they're going to ask for that. It's, it's going to come in the uh, version of a support ticket. OK, the support ticket can be found over here where it says help in chat. Like you can find the support ticket through there. Also over here, if you click this, it'll say support. OK, and you can find those. But it's also going to provide a link in this when you click it for the first time it'll take you to the actual uh, message now i did that and then maybe four or five hours later um well after i did this i put in the withdrawal again for fifty thousand right here and then a few hours later um they came back and declined it again and it said decline by selfie decline by selfie means they want you to send a picture with you holding your like id or passport holding a piece of paper that has pocketoptions.com on it, the date and your signature, and um, and then you in the picture as well. So you have to send that to them and it has to be clear. So I posted that. And then a few hours later, boom, I got the completed sign. That completed sign pretty much told me, all right, we they send you a message and support and they say, we've processed your request, allow, um, you know, some time for the funds to be actually sent to your, uh, you know, preferred, uh, preferred payout method. Now, for me, it's Bitcoin. I don't use anything else. I don't use the card. I don't use the Coinbase, crypto.com, nothing. My broker, I have Coinbase and I have crypto.com as brokers, right? But I do all my transactions through Bitcoin. So when you have brokers like that, you can do Litecoin, you can do Ethereum, but I prefer Bitcoin because it has the most skin in the game and it's the fastest in my opinion. So I would uh, withdraw with Bitcoin, okay? So once you get that completed sign, this is what you'll see next, all right? So right here, remember I withdrew 55,000. This is the transaction right here. This transaction, it came to 54,104. Now, I was on a plane when this took place. I don't think that they only sent 54. I believe with all the other accounts that I've had, with the withdrawals I've had with Bitcoin, um, you get pretty close to the number that you send. But I was on the plane for a few hours and Bitcoin was fluctuating. So I believe that's how I lost a little bit of money. However, I'm not even tripping about that because I sent it uh, directly to um, my Coinbase account, which means that I and I have Coinbase one, which means I don't pay fees for transactions. So I went ahead and cashed out right then and there. And I'm going to show you that I cashed out. Right. So this is just the history of my Bitcoin account. Right. And then look right here. This is my my cash balance. So you can see right here, it says withdrew funds completed. See that fifty four thousand one hundred and four and ninety five. So it's already been sent to my bank. It's actually already in my bank, but I'm not going to show you all that much is <laughs> that's just a little too invasive. I'm just showing this so you can see that you can withdraw a substantial amount um, and that you can learn a skill like this on this broker and trust this broker to pay you out. Now, let me show you some things, though. Let me go back here. OK, when you're trading on your account. They have the, the broker is sensitive. They have a lot of things put in place to protect themselves from people who try to cheat. 
You have people who will search and dig for brokers who provide uh, over the counter markets or they'll go trade regular Forex pairs and try to find a broker that has price readings that's slightly um, faster than pocket options. And they'll wait for like low volume opportunities to try to trade low volume opportunities means um just for an example like this, like when you get on charts and it's not really moving at all, but, you know, it'll make a spike every now and then. And people will go and they'll find those brokers, they'll get on pocket options and they'll spam trades and they'll win a whole bunch of trades, win a whole bunch of money really fast and try to withdraw. But pocket options will pick up on that and they'll decline the withdrawal. Right. They'll be like, no, you're you're cheating. And then that person will get mad. They'll make a review and, and talk about how this broker can't be trusted or how this broker can't pay out. I have not had a problem with pocket options with depositing money. I haven't had a problem with withdrawing money. Right. I made this account public so people can copy my trades and they watched me build my account. And now you get to see me actually withdraw money off the account. Fifty five thousand. OK, so when you're trading, just trade. Just trade. Don't cheat. Mark your charts. Trade It's good. It's healthy for you to have losses on your account. You know, if you have 100 percent win rate, how are you withdrawing money? You know, so if you see those videos, it's like 100 percent win rate. You automatically know they're probably not withdrawing money off their account, because if they really do have 100 percent win rate, how are they withdrawing? Pocket options would see that as a red flag. OK, why do you think that 60 percent win rate on here is good, which mathematically it makes sense. But, you know, it's considered green for them. Think about that for a second. Right. It's like a telltale sign in, in the details. Successful traders average anywhere around sometimes like 52 percent to like 70 percent, you know, because you have, you know, super big trades that you win and then you get the super small trades that you win and vice versa. So um, if you are looking for a broker where you want them to pay out, you, you want to trust the high frequency broker. This is by far the best broker, period. All right. That's why all my videos are over what they do. OK, um, outside of that, uh, that, that that's it. That's all I had to show you. I just wanted to show you that you can withdraw, right? 55,000 right there. You can do that. Um, it's not hard. Hopefully this can just give you some perspective into what you can do once you build your account, how you can make withdrawals. What I'll do is when I do my next one, um, you know, I'll, I'll record that one or pretty much hop on here and do the same thing just to show you, hey, this is the second one. If it just, if you just need to see more, I don't see why you would need to see more, but I'll do that just so you can know that this is feasible, that it's real, that you can do it. OK, if you have any questions, by all means, post it in the comment section below and I'll answer the questions in the comment section below. You can also find me on uh, Discord. OK, I have a Discord channel with over 2000 people in it. And if you want to hop in there and ask me a question, by all means, you can do that. I have a premium discord with about 415 people in it. Um, it's, it's the same one, but you get access to more rooms. And if you have a question, just ask and, and I can point you in the right direction, but don't do what most people do. Get on the internet and start trying to type weird stuff or these reviews that don't be making no sense. That's just a telltale sign that you don't know what you're doing. All right. You don't want to be the person when you have somebody like me who's experienced that read those posts and be like, yo, that that sucks for them, you know, because that's where they are. But with that, I will catch you on the next YouTube video. Peace.